fish oil has huge benefits for us. You want 600 milligrams of fish oil. The three most commonly used supplements in America today, which are fish oil, glucosamine, and echinacea. The supplement that every woman over the age of 40 needs is fish oil. It contains omega-3 fatty acids. These are good for the brain and for the heart. Well, I never thought I'd find anything to fight disease as well as fish oil, but there's a new source of omega-3s, but in some ways, maybe even better. So Holly's going to help me out to show you this. Ready to play? Yep. All right, Holly. Take this off. You recognize what these are. They look like baby shrimp. They are baby shrimp in a way. Okay. They really are. Now, try one. See what you think. See if they taste like shrimp. You want me really? Yeah, taste it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not tasting it. Someone's got to taste it. What do you think? Not your favorite? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the source of a new powerful oil that we are finding and doing lots of research on. These are shrimp-like creatures from the deep end called krill. Right? It's the red hot item now. You're seeing it all over the place, krill oil. I'm going to talk about why I think it might make sense for some of you. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. These krill are actually the bottom of the food chain, but they may be faster and stronger than other sources of omega-3s, which is why I'm curious about them. Are you curious? I'm very curious. Right. Let's first look at this animation. Here's the big story on krill oil. Now, we all talk about fish oils, and I love fish oils from any source. But fish don't actually make omega-3s. They eat omega-3s. One of the things they eat are krill. They can get it from algae and plankton, but they can eat the krill. When they eat the krill, they turn it into a pill form, and you take that pill in your stomach, and once it's in your stomach, these little particles of omega-3s, they're bound up, go into the bloodstream. Now, I'm going to freeze this right here. Just freeze that. Look at this is an omega-3 blood vessel. And you see these yellow dots coming out? Fish oil that's in this form, not as much is released, and they don't get into the cells as much. When it's in krill oil form, it seems, anyway, that the omega-3 fats, the kinds that we need, seem to get through the blood vessel more readily, and they get into the cells faster. It has to do with how they're made, but it's one of the reasons we think it's faster as a delivery system for omega-3s, which is what's intriguing. Now, the second thing is we think it might be stronger. We think that based on a bunch of reasons, but it seems that krill oil can actually reduce the chance of heart disease. Do you have heart disease in your family? I do. You do? I do. That's why this is very exciting to me. I'm glad I'm here. Do you know your cholesterol numbers? Yeah, they're high. 271. 271? 271. And it's been very high for years. And I've been trying to get it down through fish oil, natural supplements, and... And, and struggling. Yeah. Struggling a lot. Well, you might want to try, again, I, I love fish oils, mm -hmm. but this is, a, you know, one step up the food chain or down the food chain. So mm -hmm. It might be the better way for you to get it. And it's one of the things that fish oils have in them is, you know, the remarkable abilities of those, the DHA omega-3 fats. Yeah. But they're not, they're sort of clear normally. Krill oil has a color to it. The color is caused by something called azadantin. And this is a powerful, bright red product that protects the omega-3s from being oxidized, from being damaged. So it might make it even stronger. So metaphorically, let's pretend this is the cholesterol. Okay, in the body. And the cholesterol stains the plaque and grows in the plaque. Okay? You get to be fish oil. Plain old okay. fish oil. All right? Let's pour that in there gently. And when you do that, it has an effect, but it, you know, it's slow. Yeah. It doesn't take it all away. Now, okay. if we're krill oil, in theory, go ahead and pour that in there. What does it do to the cholesterol? As you pour it down there, it's a yeah. much more profound difference. And if you pour it around, it actually cleans it all out pretty effectively. So you end up with much less of that bad cholesterol which also, in theory, will reduce the amount of plaque that you'll have. Hmm. So it's one of the reasons that we're excited about this. And there was a big study that was just done showed that 1,000 milligrams of krill oil had the same effect as 3,000 milligrams of fish oil. Yeah. Does it intrigue you? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I have to. I'm trying. I'm trying everything I can possibly try. And what, tell me this. Let's look at the size of those pills. How do they compare to the fish oil pills that you take? Oh, they're actually smaller, a lot smaller. Yeah. It's one of the other reasons I like that, this option. Because if you, don't, if you get just fish oils, you end up with those big capsules. Yeah. But if you take the omega-3 fats from where the fish get them from, mm -hmm. right, from the algae, the, the, the krill, you can actually cut away the middleman, the fish, and get a much smaller capsule. So, by the way, do you have a seafood allergy? Um, no. Good. All right. Anybody with seafood allergies, please, you, gotta, you avoid fish oils, krill oil. You've got to stay away from all of these. You know what? Okay. You're such a good assistant of the day. Take this. Oh. Take okay. your krill oil with you. Okay. Get started on those. Okay. Thank you very much. Coming up, can you step up to get your cholesterol down? I'm testing to see if you know how to lower your number. Stay with us. Thank, Thank you. you.